What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we got in this 2022 Thor Sequence 20L. Really excited to walk through this thing with y'all. This is like the ultimate freedom vehicle. You can go do whatever you want. And this thing is just dripping with luxury in here. So let's take a look. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video and you like it, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description. And then we have the biggest Texas RV show coming up next week. That is going to be February 9th through February 12th at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, and I will be there. So I wanted to let y'all know if you want to go to this show and would like to schedule an appointment with me to go to this show, there is a video that you can reference that is on my channel that has more details about the show, and then you can text me at the number above. Then finally, if you are interested in this RV here and would like more information or purchasing information for this RV, text me at this number up above, and I would love to help you out and see what we can do to make this RV yours. All right, y'all, so as we walk through this video, before I even say a word, I wanna preface with saying, I am no certified RV expert. I've been in this industry for nearly three years now, but this product here, this Thor sequence, is something we get so irregularly, and it's really a treat to have it in right now, because when we do get these in, they typically are already purchased prior to arrival, so I don't get a whole lot of time to spend with them to really fully understand them and try them out, drive them around and test all the functions in these because these have so much tech in them, it's pretty remarkable. So I wanna preface with that, if there is something that I miss or something that I misspeak on, I certainly am not meaning to, I'm not trying to you know, give any misleading information. So that is what the comment section is for. If there is something that I speak on incorrectly or something that I just don't mention that you feel like is valuable information, look down below in the comments and add into that comment section if I do miss something. That being said, I am gonna do my absolute best to try to give you the best video that there is on the internet of this Thor Sequence 20L and try to go as in depth as I possibly can with this thing. So again, this is the Thor Sequence 20L. Let me close the door real quick here so you can see what it looks like with the door closed. Close that up. You can see the 20L symbol right here. So this here, is a gas powered class B motorhome. Now what is so cool about these things and what so many people like about these class B motorhomes is this is something here that you can take just about anywhere. First of all, it's small enough you can take it through most drive throughs and that's something that you can't do in really any other class of motorhome is go through a drive through to get food. A lot of people are also worried about HOAs and where they're gonna store their RV. The great thing about this is most times you can just park this in your driveway or in your garage and nobody's gonna have a problem with that. And then it also just looks like a van. So a lot of people really, and you can see how tinted the windows are, a lot of people have no idea what's going on back here, but like back behind the driver's cab area. So it's a really cool, awesome freedom vehicle is what I look at these as because they really offer just the ultimate freedom to go do what you want. Plus they are really nice, really high quality. So you're gonna see the specs up here on the screen of everything that this has to offer, but it's on the Ram ProMaster chassis. It has a 3.6 liter uh, Pentstar V6 engine. That's gonna give you uh, 280 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. The weight on this vehicle has a gross vehicle rating of 93.50. And let's see, what else is on here? Okay, yeah, fuel capacity. Uh, 24 gallon fuel capacity, you're gonna have 24 pounds of propane capacity as well. You have a, let's see what else, a 27 gallon fresh water capacity, a 13 gallon wastewater and 13 gallon gray water capacity. You have a 2.64 gallon water heater and then the 14,000 BTU furnace. Plus you're gonna have a hitch rating of 3,500 pounds. So you can actually tow something behind this as well if you need to. You have four seat belts in there so you can seat four comfortably and legally and then you're going to have sleeping capacity for two, although if you wanna cram more people in, you technically can. So that gets all the specs out of the way for the most part. Um, there'll be more stuff as we go around and look at things, but let's just take a look at the outside. You are gonna have the aluminum wheels out here. And like I said, it's on that ProMaster Ram chassis. It's gonna come with a two-year warranty. 
You have an awning out here. Now the awning is pretty cool because you see where the LED light strip is here. So first of all, you get access to the LED lights before you even put your awning out, which is great. So at nighttime or when it's darker outside, it really will light up this whole area. But what I really like about this awning is it comes out. You can see you have these little spots right here. This is what their, their arms that come down that support it into the side of the RV. And I'm not going to put it out because it is a little windy out here today and I don't want to you know, damage anything. It's not too high a wind, but I just don't want to mess with it and cause any damage prior to somebody owning it. So you do want to be careful with wind putting your awning out. But what I really like about it is it comes out on its own. So you have your touchscreen control panel in here and we'll talk about this more in a second, but I'll just show you where it's at. Your touchscreen control panel here that works pretty much just like a tablet you're gonna be able to control things like your awning, but when you hit awning uh, retract or extend, it's just one push of the button and it goes all the way out on its own if you want it to, or it retracts all the way back on its own if you want it to. So as I was messing with it earlier, like I retracted it, I just tapped the button and then I walked away from it and it retracted it all the way up by itself without me having to sit there and hold the button the whole time. Plus, once you log into that panel there that basically works like a tablet, you can, link it to your phone and you can control all the same stuff from your phone as well. So really cool that you get that. Um, as we go around, this has some really high tech in it. So you're gonna have a lithium ion battery system. So that's this reliable battery system here. Basically what the Thor sequence did this year is they got rid of the generator. Now the reason they did this is because they're able to get the same functionality out of adding an additional alternator into your engine component to, and then with the two lithium batteries, to run everything on this RV without even needing a generator, which is going to give you better emissions as well. And you have the 190 watt solar panel on the roof to also add some additional power to charge those batteries. But that alternator, when you run the engine on this motorhome, you don't even have to be driving, but whenever you're running the engine, it is going to be charging your batteries. And then when you come inside here, you have a couple different panels here. Let's open this up real quick. And let me show you what's going on down here. So they may not be on right now, but you have this right here, this um, Balmar. It's the Balmar, basically the battery, it tracks your battery information. So this is going to tell you things like your charge level. It's going to tell you your battery health and it tells you how much time you have left before your batteries hit zero based on how much you're using. So this is gonna give you all that battery information that you're looking for there. And then you have this master volt system, which when you turn this on, it won't turn on right now, but when you do turn this on, it's going to, power on your 3000 watt inverter. So there's no need to be plugged in to shore power when you have this to run everything. So when you have the 3000 watt inverter on, you don't need to be plugged into shore power, which is awesome. Now, if you don't have the 3000 watt inverter on, you can plug in the shore power. There's a 30 amp plug on here as well, um, but it also doesn't need to be on the charge of the batteries. So if you want to just charge the batteries, you don't need this on. This is basically what you're going to turn on for your 3000 watt inverter when you do want to run the entire coach off of just the lithium battery system and it's going to have the capacity to do that. And then if you want to make sure that your batteries are staying charged and your batteries are starting to run low, all you have to do is turn on the engine and run the engine and it'll start to charge the batteries. So a really cool, awesome system. You also get more battery information here as well from this Go Power panel. So it's a really neat, intricate system as far as how you can run this motorhome, giving you the ability to go camp wherever you want, whenever you want, and it's, just like I said, the ultimate freedom vehicle to go do what you need to do. As we walk around here, you're gonna have a propane connection right underneath here. So this propane connection will allow you to hook up things like a grill out here so you can have your outdoor activities and then you do have two outlets here as well. Again, this here is for the, the arms that'll be on the awning that when this comes out, they can attach to the side of the RV to give it more security so that it doesn't fly away on you. So we go around the back, you're gonna have this awesome bike rack, a really strong, sturdy, high quality bike rack that you have here. You have the backup camera up in this area. Plus you have more racks up on the top of the roof as well. And you have your 190 watt solar panel up on the roof there too. So you'll have all that there. You're going to have the hitch back here that has a 3,500 pound rating. And you can see you have the four pin plug here, which is going to allow you to actually tow different stuff behind here. This is not just an accessory hitch. You can actually tow things with this hitch. So that is pretty awesome. If you need to tow something on it, you have the ability to do that. When we open this up, so cool, this design back here and how it looks. 
look at this. First of all, you got a really cool, oh, whoops, I didn't know that was gonna fall out. But <laughs> you got your toilet paper dispenser in here. Let me close that up so it doesn't fall out. A cool toilet paper holder. You're gonna have some nice cargo nets to store things in here. And then this is gonna be your bathroom area. So you have the privacy curtain that you can wrap all the way around here. The really cool thing about the Class B motorhomes is that a lot of people, I mean, I'm sure a ton of you have seen videos of people on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok where they're just out like on a cliff side, parked on the cliff side, and that's where they sleep overnight. So there's already that added privacy because they're just secluded from the rest of the world. You can you know, put this privacy curtain around if you want. You can leave it wide open. You can just shower and feel like you're in nature. Um, you can go to the bathroom and feel like you're in nature if you want to. And it's a really cool area back here that just feels so open and in touch with nature if you picture yourself not being here on an RV lot, but actually out in the mountains or on the beach or wherever you may be at. Really going to give you that one with nature feeling that you don't get in a lot of other RVs, which I really love. So we'll look a little bit more through that as we go into the inside of the RV, but just wanted to show you what it looks like from the backside here. It also comes with this ladder, which is very handy, a lot of different uses for that. And obviously getting up on top of the RV for sure and many other things. <coughs> Excuse me. So close that up, come around to this side. You're gonna have your gray and black tank dump station right here. So when you need to dump your tanks, you can do that there. Um, this here is going to be your black tank flush valve. So this is going to flush out your black tank. You can also see you have this nice light here. So if you are doing any of these functions at night or when it's you know not too bright outside, you do have that light to help be able to see everything. You're gonna have your water fills here. So if you're at a campsite with water connections, you can just plug right into your city fill. Or if you're filling up your fresh water tank, you can hook it up there. And then you do have sewer hose stored right through here. So that is where that will stow and it will come with the sewer hose, which is pretty cool because standard RVs do not come with those. Or standard, um, like fifth wheels, travel trailer, stuff like that. You have your propane on and off switch here and you have your low point drain. This is gonna be your exhaust there. Right here, you have your 30 amp plug. So when you flip this up, if you're at an RV park or anywhere that has a 30 amp plug connection, you can plug in right there to power everything on the RV as well. And then you do have a cable hookup here if you wanted to do a standalone satellite dish and have cable TV in there. Um, this here, I believe, is going to be for your fuel. So when you open this up, this should, yep, right there where you're gonna put your gasoline in. Then you can see coming into your driving area, this will be your step up into your driver's cab. And we'll get in there in just a second. Go back around to the front. Let me actually see if I can pop the hood real quick so you can see everything inside there real fast. And I will actually turn the engine on so we can take a look at all that. Real quiet, what I love about it, cause you're hearing, okay, run the engine to you know get that inverter power, keep your batteries charged, all that stuff. It's so quiet. I mean, you can barely hear it. It is a gas engine, so it's super quiet. And gosh, this is where I'm like, okay. I spent a little time with this before I actually made the video, but I still have not gone through absolutely everything on it. And now I'm like, okay, where is the latch to open the hood? Okay, got it figured out. I totally overlooked it. Some of y'all were probably looking at the screen like, it's right there. But it's right here. You pull that right there and that'll latch the hood. So we close that, we'll come over here to the hood. Now the engine is running, so you'll be able to hear. I mean, it's very quiet. I'm sure there's a little latch underneath here somewhere. It's my first time opening up the hood, so there we go. Okay, cool. So got this here, let's see. There is a bar right there to hold it up, so you can see the bar to hold your hood up. This is gonna be all your engine components all through here. Just wanted to give you a look at everything under the hood so you can see that. And that'll latch up. Now, a couple other cool things I wanna show you real quick before we head inside. Your seats, so this will be both for your driver's seat and for your passenger seat. They are going to have a couple different features here. So first of all, you have a lumbar support knob right here. So that'll adjust this support on your back. And then you're also going to have this here that will adjust the um, lean of the seat. So if you wanna lean it back further or come up forward, that will adjust that there. And then you can actually adjust the height on this seat. So these two levers here, if this seat is too low for you, you can flip this up and that'll just lift up the front end. So if you do wanna have that more lean back style seating, you can do that. You can pull this here and that will lift the whole seat up 
and both seats do that, then to get it go back to go back down, you just sit in it, and while you're sitting in it, you can pull those and it'll push it back down to its original seating position. So that's a pretty cool thing that it does as well that you don't see in many other motorhomes. And then these are, um, you know, I don't know if this is actual leather. Um, that's something I, to be honest, I don't know exactly where to go right away to get information on that. But it does feel like leather, so it's a nice, soft, really soft feel actually, and very comfortable. You're gonna have your emergency brake right here as well, so that is where you will be able to engage that. It'll pull up right there. Um, you have all of your dash controls here. I guess we'll just look in this driver's cab area. First of all, I'll talk about the powered mirrors. So you have powered mirrors, you can control everything there, and you can actually engage these mirrors to come in, like so, so they're out of the way when you need them to be. So real quick, flip of the switch does that. You have your lock right here for the RV as well, and then your window controls. You have a cup holder here, big storage compartment right in the driver's area. And then as we hop up in here, you'll see you have the Pioneer display here. You're gonna have backup cameras and, you know, does it have side cameras? Let's go take a look. Cause I don't know that it has side cameras. I think it's just the backup camera on here. Not seeing side cameras anywhere. I'm sure if it had it, it would be somewhere where I'd visibly be able to see it. So it's, I'm assuming just the backup cameras. And then let me look at one other thing. Looks like these mirrors, they're not adjustable, so they're just gonna stay like that. I mean, they are adjustable, but they don't come in and out is what I mean. And they are heated. You can see the little heat symbol here. So you do have a heated side mirror. Come back inside, take a look at everything here. So you're going to have your tow mode. Um, obviously your, uh, what are you called? <laughs> I'm such a, uh, 2000 or nineties baby that, uh, this, I always think of Prindle from sweet life of Zach and Cody. I don't know if anybody here remembers that, but you have your dash here. It's all of your gauges. It's pretty simple up here. Pretty self-explanatory. You do have your, you know, phone call functions here. This is going to have, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay. I, I don't remember what the Android system is called but you do have that on here as well. Um, pretty simple though, nothing too crazy. Your armrests here, you can adjust the height for where they, you want them to be at and they have this little part right here that allows you to set exactly where you want it to stop at. And then as you can see here, we have swivel seats. So this sweet, the <laughs> sweet, the seat does sim swivel around as well. So you'll be able to get that function. Then up above your head, you have a nice storage compartment here. So you'll have all that storage there. And that's pretty much everything up in this area. You have three cup holders, plus another cup holder there, plus some area over here to store some things as well. And it's a really good feeling up here. It doesn't feel too tight. And you can see like as you're sitting here, get back under here, you can see your view as you're driving. I mean, pretty clear view, real big window. It feels really nice and real quality. All right, so as we come inside, the first thing I want to point out is you do have this bug screen that comes across right here. So you can slide that all the way across and that is going to block out the bug so you can keep this open, get a nice breeze running inside your motorhome here. And then that slides right back just like so. Um, we talked about all of these controls as you come in, but you also have a battery disconnect. So if I wanted to kill everything that the battery is currently powering, I just flip that switch and it is going to kill all that battery power. So you have to have that on to run everything in here, get your lights on and everything like that. You have a nice safety handle as you come in, something to grab onto when you're walking in and then you do have the step here as well. So you can easily step up in here and then we're gonna close this door and give you a look around. I think I have everything turned on. The panel here is really cool. I'm gonna go all the way back to the main home screen to show you, it is really like a tablet. So you have all of these different things. Let's get to the uh, dashboard. Where's it at? Right there. All these different functions that this tablet can do, which is really cool. And then you have all your RV functions here. So you can control everything on the RV with this panel. And then this will also link to your phone so you can control everything from your phone as well. It's really neat technology there. This has a lot of tech on it. You also have the Truma system. So this is basically going to be your heating system. So this is the verbiage I was looking for is this is a hydronic water heating system. So basically it's using different water in the coach to heat up your systems here. So you're gonna have your RV temperatures here. So you can see you have it set off and you can just set this to whatever temperature you want. I'm gonna leave it off now, but it can go all the way up to 84 degrees or 86, sorry. 
And then basically when you turn this on, this little heat icon is gonna flash until it gets to that desired temperature. You have your back button here, and then you're going to have your water heater temperature where same thing you have, well, a little bit different actually, sorry. You have the eco here, which is going to allow it to heat up to 104 degrees. You have hot, which is going to allow it to get up to 140 degrees. And then you have your boost mode here, which is going to allow it to get up to 144 degrees, all Fahrenheit degrees there that I'm listing. And the boost mode is going to turn off your fan for the furnace system. So that's everything there. Then you can control your fan speeds here with that. And then you can also program times with this icon right here. You can program times for things to turn on and off when you want. You can change your home time setting, which would be this right here from that icon. And then you do have some other settings on this gear icon right there that you can take a look at as well. So that's gonna be your whole heating system right there. Really cool system as well. Lots of really cool tech in here. Now, I think that gets most of the tech out of the way. The last thing is you do have um, the WineGuard 360 degree omnidirectional antenna up on the top. So you can install a Wi-Fi router to get Wi-Fi in here. That is just about everything on the tech side. So let's get to some of the other things. You have a 24 inch screen TV here with this little pull cord that is going to release that. You can see how it kind of releases back there. So you can swivel this around to see it from different angles inside the RV. I want to point out just the high gloss finishes in here. It looks really, really nice. Definitely gives you that like same feel that you would be in a class A motorhome. So I love that about this RV as well. It just really, really looks clean. You have all your kitchen functions here. So you have your refrigerator underneath this area, plus you have this little freezer section that flips up. Next to that, you are going to have the convection oven microwave combo. So you'll have all that in here. And then you have some storage drawers. These feel really solid, really high quality feel on your storage compartment. Some of your heater vents down here near the floor. Now, another cool little storage compartment you have is down underneath here, this pulls out, and then you even have you can take these out, but it comes with these little dog bowls, which I think is so cool because a lot of people that RV also have pets. So that's an awesome area you have as well. These are all solid finishes here. So real high quality finishes on things like these compartments or these um, just utilities that you have. And this table actually pulls out very thoughtful on things like they give you this felt pad here from the factory that is really secured on there tight so that this doesn't scratch as you pull it out. That's something you just don't see on more of your like travel trailers and fifth wheels um, that are just those little extra touches that, you know, this is a very high priced coach here. So they give you those little extra thoughtful things that they put in it. But you're gonna have this table that you can use from this captain's chair, which is pretty neat. And then underneath here as well, when you flip this back down, you'll see you have a hole going down into there, which is going to, I don't know what that's for actually. I wish I knew what that was for. Let me, let's see if I can figure that out real quick. Uh that all the way out what does this do okay cool that pulls out so it just allows you to access those components underneath there let's get this oh gosh of course now i can't get it back down in there start messing with things and then can't get them back in there we go cool all right actually it was not that hard i was making it a lot harder than it seems usb port and outlets down underneath here as well so you can you know charge different devices if you're working with a laptop or tablet or something right there pretty neat as well. In your kitchen area, you are gonna have this pull out cutting board right here. So this thing, it has a little knob right there, which that I have not quite, oh, it's, oh, that's what it is. It's a magnet to hold it in place. So that's actually pretty cool. So this will just pull out, gives you a little workspace that you have right there to work with as well, but it does have the magnet to hold it in place. And then you're gonna have your retractable outlet and USB port right there that'll go up and down. You have the Dometic cooktop. So you have a two burner cooktop right here with the glass cover to give you that additional countertop space. And then you have the solid surface countertop and the solid surface cover here for your stainless steel single basin sink as well. Now, a couple other nice luxury things and feels about this motorhome. You have like a soft touch roof here, which is the same thing you have in a class A motorhome, like the really expensive, you know, 200 to million dollar rigs all of your windows are going to open up here so this is going to be a sliding window right there you can see the screen just automatically slides out i think you can catch that on the camera which is really nice so i love that it's a really smooth system right there it's i mean just so different than what you see on standard rvs so i love that 
as we're here, let's talk about the price because I know everybody always wants to talk about that. So this is going to show you all the different options on this motorhome that it comes with. And the MSRP price on it is $122,990. And I do not know at the current time what our exact sales price is on it. So if you contact me at the number on the screen, I'll be able to get you information on that and you know, do everything I can to get you a great deal on this motorhome to make this thing yours. I am a salesperson here at Holiday World, so I would love to help you get into this thing. If you know this is what you want, contact me at that number above, or if you would like to come see it or schedule a test drive, anything like that, contact me there and I would love to help you out. As we turn around here, actually, one more thing. Let's talk about your storage compartment up here real quick, up above your driver's cab. You have the storage area here. It also comes with this privacy shade, so that will give you this privacy curtain that can come around, around the front here while you're out camping. And then this here is a, um, what's it called? It's the cover that goes on your windshield that people put up when they don't want it to get hot inside the car or RV. I can't remember what it's called, but you have that there as well. But a nice storage compartment area. Um, as we open these up, these are gonna be you know, unobstructed storage there. And then same thing, unobstructed storage throughout here. But what I really like about this is these are soft close. So as you go to close these, you don't actually have to you know, catch them and make sure they don't slam. They'll all be soft close and same on this side as well. Inside this one, you do have an HDMI port going to the TV so you can hook up HDMI components inside here and then you have more unobstructed storage throughout here. All of your windows along the inside of your RV here are going to have these pull down blackout shades. They match the color of the sidewall perfectly so it looks really, really clean and nice clean finish. Same thing, these windows are going to open as well. Now this is what's pretty cool about these windows. You saw no screen came out with that window. So what you do to get that to happen, you see that little tab right there is what I'm about to do. You actually just attach that, move this back a little bit. There we go, get it in the proper spot to latch onto there. And then when you open this, the screen will pull with it so you can get that screen door to automatically come out. Really cool, neat things that they think about in these Class B motorhomes that you just don't see in other stuff. Okay, so now you can see this is like a twin bed setup. You do have two seat belts in here. If I move this little armrest, you can see the seat belt back there and then there's another one that would come out from behind this area. So you have two seat belts in this area. This is basically like a twin bed setup. So you have these two beds here. These beds are long, so like I'm six foot two, I'll just lay down and I'll show you with my head back in the headrest area. You can see my feet go to about there. So you're gonna have a bed that's about six foot four to six foot five on the length on both sides. And then you can see you have an adjustable height here for this headrest area so you can get the desired sleeping position that you want. If you want it to go all the way flat like that, you can get it to go flat. This will lift up and then you have storage underneath here and you actually have two tables that go right here. So these two tables will sit between both of your seating areas here to give you that table space when you do want that. And then you can see you have the frolly system under here, which basically what this frolly system is doing, it is, it is allowing for airflow underneath this mattress so that condensation and heat doesn't build up underneath there and prevents things like mildew and mold from happening over time as you own your RV. So you have that system, all of your heat is running underneath here. So you'll have your heater vents underneath this area. And then down here, you're gonna have, this is probably your carbon monoxide detector and, or your propane detector. And then this is going to be USB ports back here as well. Now, another feature that it has is First of all, underneath here, you're gonna have your breakers, or wait, is that? Yeah, yeah, breakers and fuses underneath in this panel. So you can see that down in there. Close that back up and attach this panel back on. Uh, it's really hard to do with one hand. Oh, gosh, two hands would be much easier, but I'm holding the camera. Let me set the camera down. I apologize for the inconvenience. Trying a new camera system here. I'm filming with a GoPro, which I don't usually do, but I felt like I had to do that on this video here. Let me point this towards me so you can actually see me. Felt like I had to do that on this video here because I don't 
know as much about it and I really needed to hold my phone with me to go through all the notes as I'm talking about it because it's just such a complex system and complex rig. Oh my gosh, I almost got it. There we go, finally got it. Okay. So, and then one last feature that I've still been trying to figure out exactly is you have these rails that come across here. There's four of them. And I believe this is to allow these two beds to come together and make one big bed. But I have not played around with that enough to quite figure it out yet, exactly how that whole system works. But you do have these cushions that are removable. So you can take these out. They have this Velcro here holding these two together. And there should be some configuration here to put these all together to make this into one single bed. So if that's the desired setup, you should be able to do that in here as well. Then you have a fan up here. So this will be your fan that'll open up. Um, you have the vent up above it that'll open and you can get that air flowing out of here. You have your AC system. So the cool thing about the AC, it does have a couple of vents here that are directional that you can open up. So if you don't want it to come out the sides here and you want it to just pour down onto you sitting in this area, you can close these just like that and that'll push the air right onto you over your head as you're sitting here. I don't think I missed anything else in this area. Hopefully I didn't, but let's venture back to the bathroom where first of all, you have privacy doors. So you'll have these little latches to hold them um, open as you're transporting down the road. And then if you want to close these, they are magnet latches. So they do magnetize together and you have a nice privacy door there. Open that back up. And again, this high gloss finish on everything back here just looks really good. You have your toilet down underneath here. And then you have this area that flips down right here that is going to be your sink. So that'll swivel out like so, giving you a sink function back here. As you can see, you can see out into nature. You can open these doors if you want. These are tinted. So nobody will really be able to see in here unless you have the lights on and maybe it's dark outside, but you do have this curtain that goes all the way around. You can see the rail system up along the top here that it'll go all the way around. You'll wanna use that to just protect some of your cabinetry and stuff like that if you're taking a shower and then you'll have your shower head right up here that you'll be able to use there with your nozzle and your medicine cabinet right here. And I believe that's just about everything in this area. Let me show you the storage real quick because you do have basically what'll be your wardrobe storage right here. So you can get dressed right after you take a shower and then you'll have the two drawers here that pull out as well for storage. And that's just about everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if I did miss some stuff, just add that down below in the comments. Don't have to be rude or disrespectful if I misspoke on something or missed something. Just add that value down in the comments section for whatever I may have missed. So that's everything. Hopefully I didn't miss too much, but if I did miss something, just let me know down below in the comments and add that value down there. If you like this video, hit the like button and then definitely hit that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want more information, you can reach me at the number up on the screen. I would love to talk to you more about this motorhome or set up a time to test drive it or get you the purchasing information you need to make this yours. So reach out to me there. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.